Hi everybody, this is Loretta from Erasable Ink. I've gotten a lot of questions about RX Photo and I wanted to show you guys how I'm currently using it. It's my current EMR system. I do use something else for point of sale. It's actually MindBody um, and for scheduling, but I am using RX Photo for my photos as well as my documentation. The first thing I wanna say is there is no perfect EMR in my book for aesthetics, at least not yet. Um, however, this is probably the one that's closest to it. I do like using it a lot. The primary things that I like about it is that it is um, HIPAA compliant. It is cloud-based, which means I can access it really from anywhere. So if I happen to be traveling and one of my estheticians says, hey, can you take a quick look at this photo? I can pull it up immediately in real time, see the pictures, and then give uh, my staff some advice on what needs to be done. And also it's a great way to, of course, cover yourself and look back and see some of the changes that have happened. Um, the pictures are crystal clear in my book as long as you use the right um, equipment. And we currently use iPads. We have three or four different generations of iPads here in the office and they all work beautifully. And when I say the pictures are crystal clear, what I mean is that I can see individual pores, which is really important to me if I'm doing things like laser skin revitalization or rejuvenation or things like that. I need to be able to show even the very subtlest of changes in the skin. And so this is one of the reasons why I like this system. So I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough for you guys. I have up here my iPad screen Okay, so here's my icon right here, and that's my RX photo, and I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay, and so you can see here that I have my test patient up, because obviously I don't want to share patient data here. Um, and you actually see some pictures of myself that I've uploaded into the system. So there are three different test patients that we have in here. And the one that I have loaded that we're going to look at is called Test Test. So I went ahead and put in the, I clicked in the patient info, and you can see here on this page, let's see if I can blow that up a little bit or maybe bring it a little bit closer. So there's a little bit of demographic information there that you can see right away. It's kind of like a face sheet in the hospital um, with your old paper charting. So you've got the patient's date of birth, their phone number, and their email. And one of the newest changes with RX Photo is that you can do telehealth now, as well as doing online forms. And so I can email or text my patients the online forms they get a link, they download an app, which literally takes like two to three minutes. So if you know how to download an app, it's very easy to use. They can fill out that info and it automatically gets stored uh, securely in your RX photo system and you get a notification that they've filled out that information. So that's a new change that's been very helpful for us and has helped us to streamline the check-in process. Um, things are going a little bit faster instead of having people come in, sit down, they got the iPad and they fill everything out. Now everybody's filling it out before they come in. And in this day and age with COVID and everything else, people are appreciating that instead of being annoyed by it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the patient's record here. All right, and this is going to be your home page, and you've got a couple of options along the bottom. You're going to see a, a way to capture photos, your photos that you already have, any forms that you create, and notes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is talk about the photos, because this is primarily a photo documentation system, and then they added the ability to um, do your EMR documentation, and I'm gonna show you what I did with that. So here are some photos, and yep, this is my face right here. Um, if, so if I were going to take a picture, and this is definitely not a flattering photo of me at all, so please don't judge. Um, this is just a photo of my face. Um, and you can see it's pretty clear, and I'm going to kind of come up close. And if you look really closely, you can see a little bruise under my eye. This is actually after we did some um, PDO threads in my under eye area, and I just took a photo. So you can see that bruise right there, and obviously in person, it's even clearer. You can see each individual pore, and you can see my little sunspots on my nose. There it is, okay? So that that is the clarity of the photos. Now, one of the things that I love about this is that I can document right onto the photo. So this is an example of, and this is just an example, this is, I use a lot more Botox than this, but this is a, an example of my injection points that I could potentially use for uh, for Botox or any of your other neurotoxins. And you can place these precisely where you had put each of your injections. And I can tell you this is really very helpful for patients who have things like asymmetry and whatnot, and they don't have standard injection areas. 
Okay, so besides putting your Botox injection points, you can actually draw on the photo, which I find to be very helpful whenever I am doing things like PDO threads or filler. I can mark exactly where I had put everything so that I don't have to guess whenever I go back, especially if you have issues like asymmetry or maybe one eyebrow that is higher than the other. Um, and I really, really like this feature. If you don't want to use the patient photo, they do have some standard um, facial uh, items that you can download and document right onto. So you can see this is pretty much the same as what I had just showed you, except that now I'm doing it on this face and you can do whatever your preference is. I like to document right onto the photo itself because um, there's a lot more details that you can include with that. Okay, so one of the other nice things that you can do, and this is probably not a good um, example of it, but I'm gonna show you anyways. You can do a comparison of the photos, like a side by side. So I'm gonna select that fate and I'm going to select these two photos so one and two and you can compare it side by side okay so while I probably wouldn't compare my injection points what I would compare is my before and after if a patient comes in I take their after photo maybe we've done filler and that patient's like eh, I don't know if my lips look all that much bigger and then you put their photos side by side and then they're like whoa, I forgot how thin my lips were. Um, and so this part is honestly my biggest CYA. Some of the things that we do in aesthetics take time for you to see a difference. Things like Sculptra, um, sometimes with PDO threads if you're just doing the collagen building ones, um, laser skin treatments, these things take time for you to build new collagen, et cetera. And so because it's such a gradual process, People sometimes don't always notice the changes or they honestly forget what they used to look like. And so doing this side by side is really, really helpful. And then obviously for marketing purposes, it's honestly your biggest money maker. Um, I like to do my lip photos side by side and um, it's a great marketing tool. And you can literally screenshot this or you can export these photos and put it into like an app like PicStitch or PicPlayPost or whatever. And this will allow you to do side-by-sides too. So that's a really nice feature. Another thing that you can do on RX Photo is that you can ghost your pictures. And so let's say you're doing body contouring and you need to have the same exact, um, uh, the same exact positioning for your photos, which changes significantly, you know, sometimes. And you need to be able to see those really subtle changes. So you can select on this and you can ghost. So what it does is it takes your other photo, and then the camera is forward facing. You can see my treatment chair there. Obviously I'm not taking a picture of that, but then you can line up the old photo with your uh, patient who's standing in front of you and ghost it so that it's almost exactly the same, so that your angle is the same, the lighting is the same, and you have consistency in your photos. And so this is a really very nice feature too. Um, so I, I like that a lot. Okay. Um, what else can I show you guys? Um, so you can also export the photo. Um, so I'm just gonna click on this button right here that says export. And it's gonna ask, it's gonna tell me if I export the photo, it's leaving the HIPAA compliance system. It's kind of coming out of that closed system. And then you say yes or no if you wanna do that. And then it will uh, download it onto your iPad or whatever medium it is that you're using. What I will say is that RX Photo is really designed for Apple products. So this is not gonna work um, very well on like, let's say a desktop or a Samsung or whatever the other um, things that are out there. It's really optimized for Apple products, specifically iPads. I um, mean, when you're talking about photography, it really needs to match perfectly the camera that's on the system. And so that's why they've really kind of just focused on the, the um, Apple products. So I use this system on several different generations of iPads. I think there's at least, I have the newest one that I'm showing it to you guys on. And then there's um, the last generation and the generation before that we have in our office and it all works perfectly. You can also use your phone to do photos. Although I, I don't typically use phones a lot, so I can't speak to the exact quality. I know that I can take a picture with it and upload it. I don't know if the quality is quite as good as when it's on the iPad. That's probably a question you can ask the, um, the RX Photo people. Okay, so that's exporting. And then you can also, and this is very cool, share via the patient portal. So what I could do is take that photo, let's say the patient's like, oh my gosh, I love my lips. Can you please send me that before and after? I'm gonna share it with all my friends. 
fantastic. You can take the before and after, and then you can hit the export button and it will send it to them through their um, HIPAA compliant uh, patient portal system, which is the app that they had downloaded in order to fill out all of your online forms. That's also a new change that they have that I've really liked a lot. And it gives me the uh, confidence that it's HIPAA compliant and that we are not um, sending information that could somehow be uh, compromised and then we get in trouble later. All right, so there is the photo taking system. Um, and then I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the forms. So there are two ways to do forms. You can do a brand, um, like a standard form that's already like a pre-filled out form. You can PDF it and then just upload it into the system. That's not my favorite way of doing it because forms I typically like to brand myself with my own information and there's always um, practice specific information that I like to add and so I like to create my own forms but I will show you an example of a form that we have that's already given to me by the manufacturer of the device and I just upload it into my system and I can chart right onto it. Um, so let me see, which one can I use? I think this one might be one. Okay, so this is skin pen. And any of you guys who use skin pen, you can see right here that this is a form that's a standard form that they use. So if you wanna fill and sign the form, just gonna click on that. It asks you if you wanted to go into kiosk mode. Kiosk mode is when you want to let a patient fill something out or see something on your iPad, but doesn't allow them to access any other patient data for anybody else or even in their own chart. And so uh, if I'm going to chart into it, I don't wanna go into kiosk mode, but in the event that you're going to hand this to your patient to fill out a consent or whatever, you want to use the kiosk mode, okay? All right, so I hit no as far as um, that kiosk mode goes, and it's gonna load my form here. Good, and here is my skin pen form. And I've got my little Apple Pencil here, and I can actually click on here and fill out the information. All right, so I'm gonna hit the text button and fill that out there, and let's just say Loretta is my name. Good, can you guys see that? Perfect. So I basically used my Apple Pen and then I typed it in or you can actually have the patients um, use the keyboard on the, on the screen itself. Okay, so super easy as far as that goes. And you can even like, I don't know if you wanna draw a shape or something. Um, let's pretend it's an ellipse here and I can draw, pretend I microneedled her entire face. So you can draw little things on it too. And then let's say I actually want to write something in so I can put 0.5 millimeters depth. You guys can see that? Awesome. So that does make life easier as far as like um, uploading forms. I Sometimes I get lazy and before I have the chance to actually create my own form, I will use those pre-made forms. But like I said, I like to use um, my own form. So I'm going to give you an example and this is a really good one because we do a lot of tattoo removal here and I don't know if anybody has a good laser tattoo removal documentation form. So I've created my own. So I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to go into a not kiosk mode. Okay. And my form is loading. And here, what I can do is I can have certain information pre-filled. I have these little formulas. So in the name section, because I know I'm in this patient's chart, um, I will have a formula that basically says just fill in the patient's first and last name so I don't have to fill that out. It just automatically loads that. Same thing with the date. It goes automatically to today's date and then the practice name, which is always the same. And so that makes it really easy to put that in. Um, this is the patient's body and I'll show you that in a second on how I like to chart my tattoo removal. Um, this is actually a consultation. So this is what it looks like for eyebrows. Um, I can circle information in there. I'm not going to get into that. And then there's, you can do drop down menus. So let's pretend I need to select my patient's skin type. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so skin type one, let's pretend the age of the tattoo, good, and the ink density. And I use this drop down menu with points to help estimate the number of sessions a patient might need. So I'm gonna fill out all of this information, add up the points, and then ta-da, you know, I estimate eight sessions for a tattoo removal. I can fill in the information here, um, and let's just say that's $2,000 for the treatment. Good, and then I decided that that was a size large. And then I can pick my provider, which I've already pre-populated and filled out. 
um, and I'm just going to click the little check mark there. So there's the check mark for Loretta. And then as the provider, I can hit that little tab and I can sign with my Apple Pen. And ta-da, the form is done. Okay. So when you go to submit, you have a couple of options. So you can mark the record incomplete, which means that you're going to finish the charting later. Maybe you put your settings in, but you weren't quite ready to finish. If you have a medical director that needs to review your documentation, then you can send it to director review, or you can just mark complete if you're completely done with it. If you're done with it, you cannot make any changes to it later. You can archive it and then start a new form, um, but you can't go back and change that form, okay? Just like the hospital documentation systems. I'm gonna hit cancel because I'm gonna come back here. Oops. On this documentation form, I have created some presets for my tattoo removal. Um, settings, which makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to hit this little pen right here, Ooh, that little pen right there. Good. And oops, that's the wrong one. This little injection point. Okay. So let's pretend I am using uh, my NDAG and I'm doing 1064. So I'm going to click this very first one. And let's say I use 2.0 as my settings and it's 2.0 nanosecond. And you can see right there, 2.0 nanosecond is the setting. Let's say I want to mark exactly where I had done my treatment. Okay, so that area of the body. And let's say I actually want to write something right here too. So go slow, right? And I can even make, you can do a little dot right here, a dotted line. So sometimes I'll use this for my PDO threads to kind of show the direction that I went. Good. And Oh, there we go. Hit the wrong button. So you guys can see that right there. So I do love the ability to customize all of this because I can make my um, my stuff really, really very detailed because sometimes, you know, a patient comes in and post treatment, they're a little bit asymmetrical and you might think to yourself, oh, why does it look like that? And then you go back and look at your notes and you're like, yeah, you know what? I put 0.6 mils on that side versus 0.4. And that was because she was originally already asymmetric and I was trying to even everything out. You know, those are the little details that I think are very important in our industry because it really is all about the details. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you a consent form that I have created. I think those are uh, really nice and helpful too, especially um, for ease of treatment and for really kind of getting through really quickly with the things that you need to do. So here's my laser tattoo removal consent. It has all of this mumbo jumbo in it. Good. And then fill in signs. I'm going to go into no. If I were going to hand this to the patient, I would use the kiosk mode. So here's all of the legalese that's in there. And then you can actually click on each of these buttons so that the patient says that they've got their consent. And then you're gonna click here and you can sign, okay? And you can see in this box right here is a pre, uh, is the, I use the formula to fill out the patient's name and it says test, test, because not a real patient, but a real patient's name would automatically go there and then the date is automatically loaded in there, which I think is a really nice feature. All right, so I got out of that. Um, and then let's say I need to make a quick note that doesn't necessarily need to go into the chart, but it's a note that maybe I want the next provider to know. There's a little button up here that's the little plus, and I'm just gonna write a quick note that says, um, patient has low pain tolerance, um, use Lido um, when, I don't know, what's uh, three mils three mils, 1%, great, 1%, no epi, right? So that's a good little note and then my initials um, so that I can write that quick note and it doesn't necessarily go into my documentation, but it's a note for the next provider. Okay, so I just got the uh, word that I've got somebody waiting for me. So I'm gonna end this video and I'll do a little bit more in the future. I hope that was really helpful for you guys. Oh, one other thing. So you, people always ask about pricing. Um, don't quote me on this, but I think the beginning price point is $149 per month for RX photo. Um, and it goes up depending on how many features you need or want. What I will say is, is that that might be expensive for some of you. And I totally get that if you're brand new, if you're still um, injector, etc. However, 
there are way, way more expensive systems that are out there with fewer features. And so if you do grow to the point where it's it makes sense for you, it is an all-in-one system for me. It doesn't do scheduling, unfortunately. Um, and I have a separate system for that, but it does integrate with my scheduling system. So when a patient signs up on MindBody, I do have, uh, we worked with the developers to have that information automatically ported over to RX Photo, so I don't have to enter that information in again. All of their patient data, such as their phone number, their birthday, et cetera, gets ported into here, and that also makes it a lot easier. Last thing, I have it integrated also with our, um, our, our mind body is integrated with our text message system. So when a patient texts us to our business line, we can see exactly who it is and, um, and we can reply. And that's honestly a whole nother video, but a very cool feature. All right, you guys, thanks for listening. And I hope this was helpful. Bye.